Hi, George Williams, CEO of Reliability X, and today we're going to take a quick, really, really quick look at infrared thermography and just kind of some theory behind it. So in infrared thermography, we are essentially using a device that can detect energy and convert it to a visual signal and kind of show us temperature variation. It does that because infrared radiation is emitted from all objects uh, above zero Kelvin in temperature. So any object above zero Kelvin is emitting infrared radiation. Uh, and this camera can detect that infrared radiation and convert it into a visual signal that can then be, based on other variables, uh, seen as a heat signal or temperature signal. It looks at various things, like in this case, we've got just a regular terminal block, right? And we can see some darker colors. They typically indicate that it is cooler. And as we get lighter through the spectrum, it means there's some more heat. So when we're looking at things like electrical, we're gonna be looking in these areas here um, and saying, oh my God, I've got some kind of hot spot going on there. Maybe I need to check for load imbalance. Maybe I need to check for a loose connection, but something is definitely more hot in this area than in others. Uh, and of course you should know about what that temperature difference is. In things like tanks or vessels, you'll see a temperature change, a gradual ch temperature change um, potentially, or a direct line in the sand that says this is how much liquid or gas is inside this vessel because you can see the temperature variation. Pretty much anything with a delta T or a temperature differential can be looked at utilizing infrared thermography as long as the infrared radiation is being emitted by the object and there's not something blocking the camera like a piece of plexiglass. So anything can be looked at underground water, inside uh, insulation and homes. It's being used in medical treatment and looking for things like melanoma and, and other cancers today. Um, lots and lots of really cool, fun uses for infrared thermography, mold remediation, uh, roofing structures, all kinds of stuff. So this is just a really, really high level. Here's what it's looking at. For more details on infrared thermography, you can take our course in predictive maintenance technologies uh, look up some information at reliabilityx.com. You can contact our friends over at Infrospection Institute and help get certified in infrared thermography um, or shoot us an email at ask at reliabilityx.com.